Hey, my name is Brian, and I'm going to give you a tour of my 1987 Barth Regal 25. That's a 25-foot motorhome. It's got about 88,000 miles on it. My wife and I have owned it for the last six years. We've been across the states. We've been up through Canada, to the mountains, to the beach. This has been an awesome motorhome for us. Um, I love that it's classic. Uh, it's got hardwood cabinets, a lot of really cool eclectic vintage features. Um, but unfortunately, we are moving overseas, and it is going to be time for us to sell this thing. So I didn't get home in time to take pictures uh, in the sunlight. So we'll get those up tomorrow, but I figured I'd give a walkthrough tour of the inside um, and kind of just start front to back and go through the features of this motorhome. So this is the cockpit up front. Obviously got the driver's seat here, um, little wood grain panel, got some dash fans to keep you cool during the summer. It's got great storage all throughout this thing. Um, all of these flip up, uh, basically got little baskets to store things, got a med kit in there, empty compartments. TV, more storage baskets, and then the co-pilot chair actually spins all the way around. So if you want to face the back or have an extra seat when people are uh, in the RV with you, um, you have access. Uh, up front, we got the stereo, um, and this is the engine access compartment there. Over here, we got our little twin seats. Oh, cabinet for some uh, wine bottles and glass storage. This little tray table pops out. I'm going to try and do everything for you one-handed. But got a nice little table uh, to eat at there. These chairs obviously rotate, spin. Stow that. Along the uh, passenger side, uh, we got some more storage up here. Um, everything's got real nice um, mirrors in the background so you can kind of see what's down in the back uh, of the baskets. Um, so we just got some playing cards, a little power inverter when you don't want to run the generator. A little umbrella storage. And then back here above the door, this is where you have your exterior lights for driver's side and door side. And then basically all the indicators uh, for water, where your tanks are at, how much uh, LP propane you have left. Got some light switches there at the door. That's where we keep our uh, trash can. Door has a screen on it and I've got some storage over here on the stairs that take you outside. That's just where we keep the broom, fire extinguisher and a uh, little handy surefire light, uh, which is great to access all the compartments outside or to go take a look under the RV, uh, especially at nighttime. Working your way down the passenger side, you've got the refrigerator and the freezer. Right now we're hooked up to the shore power, so we're just plugged in. Everything's running off of uh, uh, AC power off the house. We've got the air conditioning and heater up here. This thing uh, runs absolutely great. It will run off of shore power or off of the generator. Storage down below the refrigerator. Moving to the driver's side of the kitchen, um, got lots of great drawer space, utensils. Everything in here will get sold with the RV as well, um, so it's pretty much turnkey. You got some pots and pans down below. Uh, stove here runs off of propane. It's got a, uh, a cover that I keep right there under the mattress. And so when we're not using the stove, you can just slide that cover on and you get a little bit of uh, prep space, it's nice and smooth. It's got a convection oven, some pot holders, paper towels. Definitely, I put a I put a little band around those when we're driving and have that window open. Definitely had that paper towel end up uh, unrolled into the back bedroom. Little fruit basket, double sink, candle holder, and some storage space down below the sink. Coming back up the driver's side, got more of those storage cabinets up top in the kitchen. Toaster, got some, some outlets, uh, hot water heater, electric one, and some more storage baskets. The actual couch in the living room pulls out into a bed. So all you gotta do is uh, I'll take these pillows off. And I'm gonna grab here in the center of the couch just lift up and pull out and it flattens out. I'll give you a view of that. 
Well, that turns into a bed, and there's a bit of storage underneath there, so that's typically where we keep like a, we actually have like a mattress topper for it, and the sheets and pillow set is all underneath there. All right. So underneath the couch, um, like I said, that's where the storage is. Let's see if we can see that on camera. Um, so we can just snort, store some extra stuff down there. There's all the manuals, original manuals that came with the Barth and, uh, and some stuff that the original owners had. Uh, and then a little lockbox safe back there. This panel at the base of the couch flips down. And that's where all your uh, breakers are, main service panel. And then this is, the, uh, this is the switch to go from the shore power to the generator when we're running the generator on the move. The AC unit is uh is awesome and it works fast this this uh whole motorhome gets super cold um really fast so sometimes we'll run the generator while we're driving if it's like really hot during the summer and there's a switch right up here above the driver's seat that can basically cut that ac on and off that way while you're driving you don't have to move all the way to the back all right and moving to the bedroom we have a uh, little sliding divider that pulls across to separate the uh, bedroom from the living room. And then the driver's side, oh, excuse me, the passenger side, it's got a closet and a couple drawers. The lights kick on when you uh, open the closets. And a couple drawers here. More drawers, uh, storage below the bed. Got a little fan. Um, I like it nice and cool at night. So you got one direction is uh, like really high power. And then the other, other side's uh, just kind of low, low breeze. More storage up above the bed. We keep extra bedding, um, batteries, etc., blankets, towels. And this is a, I guess it's a, a motor home size full. Um, it's okay sleeping two people, that's no problem. I am six foot, so I take the outside spot um, just so when my head is basically all the way up at the top of the pillow, um, my feet reach the end of the bed, uh, but it is kind of disturbing when I can feel feel the wall if I'm sleeping on the inside. So I'll typically take this side, but it, it's probably, I'd have to measure it, but I'd say it's like, it's a little bit over six feet, probably about six two in that space. Um, so six foot sleeps comfortably. Um, working our way back into the bathroom. There's the shower in the very back uh, It's got a little clothesline. It's typically where we do our wash um, We also have a little folding um, Laundry dryer rack that we set in the tub and then I've got like a five gallon bucket that will wash our laundry in and then just let it dry in the tub and all that stuff we store underneath the bed here so there's the bucket drying rack and this is where the the water tank and just some some empty space basically storage spaces uh toilet little window back here some storage above the toilet flushable wipes toilet paper um bathroom fan got a fan and lights and moving into the rest of the bathroom got a sink Little cabinet. Uh, I've actually got some shelves here too to run more toiletries and stuff. They basically go go across all of these um, brackets. I'll put those back in. A couple of mirrors, toothbrush holder, and some more storage underneath. Just uh, where we keep like the little blue tabs to throw in the, throw in the toilet. Two levers like most uh, RVs. One to open the gate. One to run the water uh, and flush it. And then moving back up the driver's side. Another closet, same thing. Light kicks on when you open it. And that one's a little bit taller because there's no uh, drawers uh, below it. So that's um, that's the inside of the Barth. I'll get some pictures up tomorrow uh, and then add some details about some of the specifics in here. But I didn't want to make the video too long. Um, so I'll get back to you on the outside.